So, you want to put a 3D model into a Unity game or change a 3D model? Well, I'll help you with that in this video. Uh, real quick, to do this, you're going to need something called Unity Asset Bundle Extractor, which I will have the download linked in the description. Yay! So, I will be using an older version of Rec Room, a private server if you so will call it. The first thing you're going to want to do is go into the underscore data folder. Then, go into the global game managers file right here. Open that. Do, 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 wait for this to load for 10 hours, and all right, so you're in. So I would advise going to search by type and look, and nope, that is the wrong alphabetical order. You want to go in from A to Z, so then you're going to scroll down into the B's right here, and what you're looking for is build setting right here. Click on that. It should be in all Unity games, just under the same global game manager category. Scroll down, build settings right here. You're going to want to click view data. And it's going to take a million years. This might even say that it's not working, but it will. If it's not, just restart and all that stuff. Then you're going to want to open open up this and then scroll down. It's, it's Sometimes games have a bunch of add-ons to this. You're just going to want to find this specific thing right here. This shows the build of Unity that it's been used that has been used to make this game. So you're going to want to remember this number right here, 2017 one. Well, not specifically for your game. This is just for me. But whatever number you have right here, this is what you're going to want to use. So then, what you're going to want to do? Look up older Unity versions, or just go to the Unity website. Just look at downloads, then go into older versions of Unity. Then you're going to want to go into whatever year your game is in. This game, this one is in 2017. You're going to want to scroll down, find your game's version. Okay, which version was mine? 2017 1. All right, 2017 1. 20, 2017.1.0. Right here. Then what you're going to want to do, click on this, then click Unity Installer, which will install the Unity Installer. I already have it all downloaded, but it will it will come up with an executable that will download on down here in Chrome or whatever. You're going to want to run that and then do all the steps for downloading that as a usual executable for downloading would do. And then that will take a really long time to download, but as I said, I already have it downloaded, so I'm not I'm not I don't have to go through that process, but you do. So, I have my versions in a folder right here. So, you're going to want to go into there. You want to go into, oh, that's the wrong thing. Uh, I have the one for Rec Room 2017 in here. Then, yeah, this is the executable for 2017.1.0. Just run this, download it all, and then you're good. That's the current Unity version I have downloaded right now. So I will open up Unity, and it will open up that version of Rec, that, that version of Unity, not Rec Room. So we'll just, yep, load up Unity. And then I have this right here for switching around 3D models. So yeah, just you can make a new uh, project if you want. It doesn't really matter. I don't care. I do it with a new project just so that you don't have a bunch of assets in there already just to make it a lot easier on yourself. All right, so the Unity car game. All right, so I'm going to be using the, the baby car for this example. I don't want to get rid of all the stupid lights and all that. So what you're going to want to do is find a 3D model that you want to change into in the game like in rec room say you want to change the bucket to the baby car yeah you're just so you're just going to want to drag your 3d model in or obj fbx whatever 3d model you have into the assets folder right here drag it up here it'll go into your project right here and you're pretty much done with the unity part you don't have to mess with this at all just leave it right here it does not matter you can like send it off into oblivion and it would not matter by the baby car all right then you're going to want to go up to file up at the top left click build settings click build and I already have it built right here but you you're gonna want to put it wherever in a folder and your download it does not matter name it whatever you want and then just click save and then you're done with unity you, well once that's done doing that then you're done with the unity then you're gonna want to go open up that folder make sure it's there yep this is what downloaded from if, if I were to download that but yep, we got all of that. 
then you're going to want to close all this in Unity Asset Bundle Extractor. You're going to want to click File again, open, go into where is it? I'm kind of blind. Unity versions and builds, and then you have this right here, which we got from Unity from the building the thing. You're going to want it to go into the underscore data, and then go into uh, I'm guessing shared asset zero. It might not be in there. Yep, there it is. This is the mesh that I put in there. This is the, the baby car. You're going to want to export this as raw. To make this clean, I'm going to put this in the Unity versions. Get rid of this because that's a previous thing I did. Save this. I'm going to name this the baby. Save. All right. Where I'm still kind of blind. It's right there. There we got the the baby. Then you're going to want to open up the game that you're changing. I'm changing Rec Room right here, so go into here. Uh, what do I want to change? I'm just going to go into Shared Assets 0 and just see what I can change. I'll look for like two seconds and find something. Just got to wait for the billion different things in this game to load. Uh, meshes are in the M section. All right, here we go. Uh, I will change the emo hair. So export raw. Then you don't. I don't believe that you would have to save this, but I just will for time's sake. So I'm going to put this into here so I don't lose track. So yes, you're going to want to export, export raw on the emo hair. Then put it into wherever you want. It doesn't matter. So this is the DaBaby raw folder. This is the emo hair raw folder. What you're going to want to do is copy this name right here. Then rename the DaBaby name to that exact name. It has to be exact to the dot, that name. Then what you're going to want to do is go back into here. And oh, oh yeah, by the way, like I said, you don't really need to download this. Like I can just delete this right now. All you need is the name of it. So yeah, you just rename it. So then go back into here, select the emo again, click import raw, and then do that. Then you're going to want to click OK and save, because this is going to save the assets folder that um, you have just changed. So this is the assets folder. I'm going to open up another file explorer. I'm going to put this into you. Nope, that's not right. Uh, the, the game I'm changing, underscore data, scroll down. And by the way, if you um, want to back this up, I would highly recommend it. So I'm not going to do that because I don't need to. So what you're going to want to do is uh, either back this up, like save this right here because you're going to replace it with this. So save this somewhere, but I'm just going to delete it. Then you're going to want to drag in your new one into here, and you are done. That should be it. I doubt that I'm going to be able to run this because I have changed so many things on here, so I'm not going to show it as an example. But most likely, hopefully for you, it should work if you've done everything to the dot correctly. You have the baby car in the game now, and the emo hair will be the baby car. But most likely it will not work for me because I have changed so many things in here. But that is it. Hopefully this has helped you change something in a Unity game, and bye. Hello again. Um, I recorded that previous stuff like months ago, and I just uh, realized something months later, so I just wanted to point that out really quick. Um, some games with this program, Unity Asset Bundle Extractor, it does not support. I don't know why, but the person who made this only made it work with uh, a whole handful of uh, Unity versions. So I don't really have any examples right here, but I'm just going to try to explain it. So what I've done is I've gone to the file um, to open up a shared asset, and this is VRChat, which it does support um, in the, in the on this current date. Uh, but when some games, uh, an example would be Shotgun Farmers. That game is not supported by this because the version of Unity that it uses is not correct. So with that game, if you click this, it'll like pull up. Uh, it'll pull up not this menu. It'll pull up another menu that says like, oh, uh, this version is not supported. Select one of these versions. If we do that, I honestly don't know what to do. I might think of something in the future and if I do I'll uh, update this but yeah just wanted to point that out really quick that certain versions of unity are not supported by this 